How's it going guys, MCS William here and I am back with the most requested video you guys needed and that was the Fraps 2018. Yes, I'm back. And here to show you with another tutorial. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and open Fraps, which I already have it open here. Um, now if you have a low end computer, you're gonna wanna go with I would say 50. Don't go with 30 because regardless if you have a low end computer, your frames will drop on 30 FPS. So always stick to 50 so it can range itself up more so it doesn't have to drop frames. So stick with 60 and 120 right here. You're going to want to put 120. If I could type right. Alright, you're going to want to put 120 or 60 FPS if you have a medium to high end computer. Now what you want to do is if you want to save your movies from fraps, you can always just click change right here and click whatever you want to do. Stuff like that. So you're able to link it into the specific type of folder you want to put it into. Then on top of that, don't click multi-channel. Always keep it on stereo or in Windows 7 sound. Um, if you want to record your, if you want to record your mic, you can always record your mic, which is right here. You just click that. And if you don't feel like having it always recording, you can always click this and have the space bar and stuff like that. But the loop buffer strength, I would leave this alone. Don't mess with that because in the last video I messed with that and it kind of messed up some people's settings. So I'm just letting you know now. Don't mess with that. Leave that alone. Do full size. Go to your FPS marker. Benchmark settings. You want to put the FPS. Click that. That way it shows up at the top left or wherever you want to have it at right here. You can have it right here. Or you can hide it. Either one works for you. It's always your choice. Don't click this. Don't click this because after every each 60 seconds it'll clip the video and it'll keep saving random videos which is going to make it harder for your hard drive to process more videos. So leave that alone. <laughs> and this should pretty much be it. If you want to lock your frame rate while recording you can. I honestly don't recommend it because I have a high end computer. But if you have a low end computer you can lock it. It's just it might slow down your performance but it will increase. It just, like I said, it just varies with the type of computers you have. And if you want to hide your Miles cursor, you can always hide it. You know, it's nothing really much there for that to say. And just leave these unboxed if you have a high-end computer, pretty much. <laughs> if you want to take screenshots, you can always set this up right here. Don't have it on BNP, have it on JP, which is called JPEG, which is be a, le a legit actual picture that can be used in multiple programs and screen capture settings include frame rate on screenshots and stuff like that you don't have to do any of that so i would just leave that alone but on top of that pretty much yeah these should be your settings also side note real quick if anything always make sure to run it as administrator if you don't feel like you know always having to right click or run it as administrator just go to the properties click run as administrator right here um, I don't need to run it as admin, but if you have a low spec PC, I'd really recommend running it as administrator because it helps improve the performance of the computer that you currently have. If you have Intel, I'm sorry, <laughs> no offense, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you have AMD or NVIDIA, you're pretty much set. You don't have to ever go into the properties unless you feel like your computer can't even run fraps. And if your computer can't run fraps, um, that's why you're here, right? <laughs> yeah, that's all you guys pretty much do is just go into the properties, run it as admin, or you can click and check the box and make sure it always runs as admin and it helps improve it com the performance of fraps and it helps reduce lags. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments down below because this should have been on. This is just an update video for you guys as you have requested it. And but yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you guys enjoyed this video and if I missed anything just let me know. But if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And be sure to check out my previous updated video because I will be making more videos. Glad to see you guys and I'm glad to be back. Adios.